For this recipe, you'll need dry mustard powder, salt, eggs, white vinegar, vegetable oil, and olive oil. Dave and Shecky's Groovy Cooking Show. But, uh, I'm Shecky. But no Dave. Dave is out and about doing groovy things without me today. So, I figured I'd make a really fast, no chopping <laughs> type recipe today. And uh, today we're making homemade mayonnaise. I must admit, it does suck without my groovy partner here. But I figured mayonnaise is fun, isn't it? And. Uh, if you look, the ingredient list is very narrow and tiny compared to your Hellman's for my East Coast friends and your Best Foods for my West Coast friends. So let's start it off with ground mustard, half a teaspoon. Next up, a quarter teaspoon of, gosh darned it, salt. Two eggs. Two eggs. There's <laughs> There's been an incident. I've got to start again. There was an incident. I uh a little too violent with the egg cracking and the shell got in there and I could not find it and I just dumped it all. So I'm starting again. But uh I just thought I'd tell you. One and a half teaspoon of dry mustard. One quarter teaspoon of salt. Two eggs.
Shell free. Shell free. Two tablespoons of vinegar, white vinegar. Also, oh, hello. The phone's ringing nonstop. This morning I went on a website to look for um, health insurance. You know, my health insurance with my previous carrier was ridiculously expensive, and I wanted different, cheaper health insurance. So um, I was having my morning coffee, went to a website, put in my info. And somehow that site just sells your phone number to I don't know how many people but my phone has not stopped ringing and I'm up to about 45 calls now just 45 calls different callers just all wanting to sell me insurance it's really frustrating it's it's maddening and it's harassment really um, I sent an email to the company, they said, oh, we're going to take you off the list right away. Still getting the calls. Okay, so the secret to mayonnaise, apparently, oh, I also have two, I have a cup of olive oil and a cup of vegetable oil, and yes, it looks like someone peed in this, but there's a method to my madness. So you're supposed to add the oil very slowly. That's what the secret is to making mayonnaise. And so what I've done here is I've put the oil in here with the cap on and I've, you see that? I've put a little hole in the cap so it will drizzle slowly and this should make for the most amazing mayonnaise ever. We shall see. We will find out together. Mixer's going to be on medium. It's going to be loud. All the oil is in, I'm going to turn this off. Let's see how we... Let's see how we... <laughs> let's see how we did, shall we? It is an incredibly hot day here, so <laughs> I have put our mayonnaise in the fridge to see if it'll firm up a little bit. Um, we shall see. If it does, I'll show you. If I don't, this will never see the light of day.
So, um, it seemed like it was pretty thin when I did it, when I made this. Um, <clears throat> and I was pretty upset about it. And it's still not thick like, a, like say, a, you know, store-bought. But it has thickened up a bit in the fridge. And um, I'm going to use it today to make um, potato salad. So I think it's, it's perfectly fine for potato salad. Uh, and I'll let you know how that goes. So I thought it was an epic fail, but it wasn't. And it's uh, pretty tasty. I will say that using the, um, the olive oil did change the taste up a little bit, and I would probably not do that again. It's not terrible, but it's not, it's, it, you know, you, you know what that olive oil taste is, so I would probably not do it, uh, do it that way again, but it's, it's totally um, fine. So I'm going to make potato salad, and uh, there you go. Mayonnaise.